Hey everybody, I wanted to cover some design considerations when you're designing AppSheet apps. So all AppSheet apps start from a table of some kind, and those tables can exist in a variety of different data sources. So after you add a table, it's important to understand the relationship between the different hierarchies of an AppSheet app. Any actions done at the table level will always, will always take precedent over other layers of your app. So any permissions set at the table level will override what's done at the column level. Anything done at the column level will override what's set at the slice level. And then any of your user, any of your views, your actions, and your bots will all have to follow the rules that have been set out in your tables, columns, and slices. For example, for the table, looking at this app here, if I set the table here to only allow updates and I come and create a slice that interacts with that task management slice and I try to set the update mode to allow for adds and deletes as well, AppSheet will automatically revert that back to just updates. Tables will override whether whatever set at the slices level. And the same goes with columns. If I create a column here and I want a column to be editable, but my table doesn't allow for edits, then you won't be allowed to update that, that column as well. So keep that in mind when you're developing your application. This is also a powerful aspect of AppSheet in that you could set permissions at the highest level you know will that you will need for your app. For example, when you add your table to your application, if you know that you're going to want that table to be a read-only and no one would ever update or add to that data structure, you could set that as read-only and then sit comfortably knowing that whatever you do, whether it's creating automations, creating different views in your application, AppSheet's not going to allow anything to update that table because you've set it at the table level. Another example of this would be setting columns to be shown or hidden. So if I were to turn a column off and hide that column, you'll notice that it disappears from the view itself. So if I did the same thing with start date, you'll notice that it disappears from the view. So regardless of how many times I try to add that column to the view itself, AppSheet won't let you do it because you've set at the column level to be hidden. So this goes back to where I was talking about tables. If you know certain columns are, you're going to want to have some kind of visibility level or ability to edit columns or control columns to a read only status, you could set that at the column level and not have to worry about the different views or the different bots or the different actions that you make that could cause issues in accidentally updating that data. You can use this structure to keep your apps simpler than they would be if you didn't have this in consideration. So for example, just by hiding certain columns that I know I, I don't want to show the users, it eliminates the need for me to create different slices with certain columns added to that slice if I don't need to. Because ultimately adding another slice when I don't need to adds more complexity to your application when you can just take care of it at the, the column level itself. And just to reinforce that with, with actions too, you wouldn't be able to create actions that violate any of the rules that you set up above. So this reemphasizes the fact that if you set a good data model at your table and column level and define and set those controls appropriately, that will save you a lot of time down the road as you're developing and iterating on that application. So just to review, your the views, the actions, the bots that you make will only allow actions and data change operations that follow your slices. If you don't have any slices, they'll follow your column validation rules that you've set for your data model. And if you don't have it set those columns and it's going to fall back to your ability to update the table, read the table, or add and delete from the table. With that, thanks for watching. Please leave any questions in the comments below and have a good one.